Own Your Own Debt Through Infinite Banking. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. We help entrepreneurs and high achievers own their own lifestyle by becoming their own source of financing. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we come out with brand new videos. Exactly. So if you want to continue learning how to own your own lifestyle, we show you all the nitty gritty details that we talk about on all of our videos on Patreon. So if you want to level up your finances, then I totally suggest going to Patreon to find all of that information. So hopping right into the content for today, debt equals opportunity for whoever is financing it. And that is so true because what we want to teach you all today about in this video is all about who has all of the money. And at the end of the day, who has all the money? It's banks and financial institutions. And so all we're doing is peeling back the layers to figure out exactly how they're making money and how do they sustain themselves. Mm -hmm. Because I would say as consumers or as a general population, we sometimes villainize banks and financial institutions. But the true villain are the people who continue to fuel the banks and the financial institutions who are people like us because we use the banks and financial institutions for all of our financial needs. Yeah, there's a saying, the American dream is to you know, get a house, mm -hmm. get a car, at least that's what it was when, I, when we were getting out of college is, get a house, get a car, but all this stuff comes with debt. Yeah. Now, there's nothing wrong. Ooh, and education. Yeah, Make education. Sure education. That's also another way of getting into debt. Mm -hmm. Debt isn't necessarily a bad thing if you're financing it yourself. Debt creates opportunity mm. for the finance er. Mm. Can you say that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> debt equals opportunity for the finance er, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, I'm I'm so glad you, that you said that because again, all we do from from a consumer standpoint, we just harp on the debt, the debt, the debt, the debt. This is the problem. But mm -hmm. what comes with it. Debt comes opportunity. And all we are continuing to do is to bring opportunity to the banks and financial institutions. Mm -hmm. So how in the world can we get on the other end of this? It's just a decision. Yeah. The only thing we have to do is change the way we think and put ourselves on the other side of it. Because when we finance things, we're overpaying for it anyway, right? Yeah. When it comes to a house and we pay 3% interest over 30 years, we're overpaying for that house by hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. When we buy a car and we finance it from finance it through a, a third party financer, we're overpaying for a product. It's a already a depreciating That's asset. depreciating. Mm -hmm. And we're paying and more we're, for it. And we're paying more for it. Yeah. So why can't we do that ourselves? Mm -hmm. Well, and even before we do it ourselves, we have to also think about the fact that we have been conditioned to think a certain way about mm -hmm. money. We've been conditioned that ownership is the goal. But think about all of the things that we own. Do we actually own it? Unless you bought your house and your car outright, you don't own it because the bank is holding on to the deeds and the, the notes or whatever the case may be. And once you pay them off, then you own it. Mm -hmm. So again, we've been conditioned to think about this ownership as uh, terms of empowerment for us. And yeah, maybe we might have a little bit of empowerment, but again, we're spending double the amount for that asset and we're creating an opportunity for those financial institutions. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people say, well, if we're paying smaller amounts, it's, it's more affordable, right? True. But if we have to make payments on it, we probably can't necessarily afford it in the first place because I, I think back to my grandmother in a, a conversation that, well, I had to do this interview with my grandmother for school and she talked about how they save money. Yeah. They save money because of what happened with a, a recession. Mm -hmm. So with that, that thinking, they didn't buy, as far as they, my grandmother didn't buy anything that she couldn't afford, that she didn't have the money for. True. So what we have been conditioned to since that time, at least my generation, is we get things based on how much that monthly payment is, mm -hmm. not taking into consideration how much in, ex in excess we're paying over the amount for that actual product. Absolutely. So then how do we turn the tables to benefit us so that the debt can now be an opportunity for us as a population and as consumers? just put ourselves in a position, what are the banks and financial institutions doing? They're financing our, our assets mm -hmm. for us, mm -hmm. and let's just use the same tools. Yeah. That's where 
infinite whole life insurance comes into place Correct. and the concept of infinite banking Correct. which is to build up the cash inside your whole life insurance policy borrow the money from that uh, insurance policy mm -hmm. and finance all your large assets absolutely and pay yourself back what you would have paid to somebody else hmm interesting concept so all we're doing is replacing the banks and again, initially, you're not, you may not be able to fund houses for, for mortgages and things like that, but the point is you're creating your own banking system that mm -hmm. you can build and grow so that you can then start buying those large ticket items if you'd like. Mm -hmm. But for Darius and I, I mean, we're having a ton of fun financing our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, things as small from our water bill to our light bill to our cell phone bill. Think about all of the expenses that you spend on a monthly basis and how you can bring all of that money back to yourself as opposed to away from you mm -hmm. you know when you think about making a hundred thousand dollars a year you spend that every single year spending it in your lifestyle expenses mm -hmm. what if you could take a piece of that 10 percent 20 percent of that and bring it back to you and start building that so now you can keep more of your money on an annual basis and then it just gets better to where you're uh, keeping almost a hundred thousand dollars on an annual mm -hmm. basis as opposed to it going away from you what would that do for your financial lifestyle what would that do for your family Right, and this concept is something that happens over time. It doesn't happen yes. overnight. Absolutely. So the first few years that you start your policy, you're not gonna have 100% of everything that you put into it. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, when the insurance company started, they weren't paying dividends in the very first year. Yeah, true. There's a time where they, have to, to start they have to get to that point, right? Mm -hmm. Even the bank, it's 100 years old, but mm -hmm. there was a time where it initially started where it had to build up in order to be the institutions that we see today. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the same thing with your banking system. Mm -hmm. You have to give it time to, to build up. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, you say, oh man, well, why do I want to put my money in something where it takes two years for it to build up? Well, use a credit card and then <laughs> you have immediate, <laughs> you have it immediately and you finance that and end up and paying them And you give that money, money to the bank. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> right. Yeah, but the, the main thing that we want to make sure that you understand from this video is looking at debt from a different lens. Mm -hmm. Debt equals opportunity. And when you look at the 1%, when you look at financial institutions, what do they do? They lend money. Mm -hmm. And if we unpack lending money, what is that? They own our debt. Think about that own our debt which creates opportunity for both parties we have the items that we want financed and the the one percent in the banks are getting principal and interest so it's, it's a win-win it's a, it's a win-win so why don't we put ourselves on both, both ends mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what i'm trying to double dip <laughs> trying to do that all day long so again just think about debt from a different perspective think about all of the things that you may be currently financing right now and then do the math to figure out how much opportunity is leaving your household yes Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video for the day. We really appreciate your attention. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel mm -hmm. and hit the notification bell. Yes. And remember to own your own debt. Or someone else will.